Hey, what's up everybody? It's a Red Baron 59 here, back with my final little gameplay from Black Ops 3 that I wanted to post. Um, I, I, say, I thought I saved some stuff, man. I, I'm getting really confused sometimes because I feel like there's certain gameplays I try to save and, and something goes wrong. Uh, I guess I'm going to look into it a little bit more and, and see if I can figure out what it is. Because I swear I saved some other things and I can't find them. Maybe I'm saving them to a different directory or something. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, though, this is just a nice little one. I think it was like 34 and 10. And it was uh, the main one I had using the scythe. And it was definitely one of the, the the specialist abilities I preferred over some of the others. I thought it was a lot of fun. And I, I guess I want to comment on the, the ARK2. The, uh, the, I guess the AK-12 of this game is how it, it's supposed to be. AK-47, whatever. And it's a really strong gun. Uh, it has a higher fire rate than you would have expected. But it performs pretty much the same way, it has a similar iron sight, and I think this is me picking that up right now. I really like it, and I like how when you get the extended clip on it, it's got like a banana, you know. I, I enjoyed the way that they really kind of went in-depth with the cosmetic appeal of each attachment on a, on a weapon. That was pretty cool to me, and I, I just want to kind of touch on a question, too. So, I've been reading just a lot of stuff lately, and uh, when I'm in, in my free time... Uh, especially outside of school, I, tr I try to take, of course, do things that I enjoy, but at the same time, one of the things I enjoy is always learning something new and taking as much time as I possibly can to enrich myself and my my knowledge, you know, every everything that allows me to be successful allows me to be me because essentially, you know, I mean, they, they say knowledge is power and it really is a true thing. You know, the more you know, the more you can do, the more you can accomplish the more weapons you're going to have for success in life. And uh, the wall running stuff is sick, by the way. That's so much fun. But uh, what what I wanted to talk about is I heard an idea. And it, it was essentially how can anyone accomplish anything if they don't know where they're going? You know, like if you if you don't know what you're working towards, then how can you ever get anything? And I think this applies to everything, including stuff like YouTube. You know, and sometimes I feel like I struggle with that idea. And I wonder, how do you guys feel about that? Do you ever feel like... I'm sure everybody has these doubts, especially when you first start college or you're about to graduate from high school. You wonder, like, what am I going to do with my life? Who am I going to be? What am I going to accomplish? You know, and you see people, I think that those that succeed are definitely those that know, you know, and, and, and it's a thing that I hear a lot, a common theme I hear when I'm attending, you know, seminars on accomplishing goals and, uh, you know, making money, getting where you're trying to go. It's a common thing that they say that. The only people that succeed in life are those that know where they're going. And I have to say that, you know, the, the more I think about it, the more I think that's true. That you, you can't accomplish things without knowing what it is you're trying to get. And I, I guess what I'm trying to say with that is if, uh, if you have an idea, you know, and, and you say to yourself, like, I want to be, uh, obviously, for instance, we'll just take a YouTube star, like, you know, or, or, or any kind of celebrity. I want to be a rapper. You know, I want to be in a rock band. Uh, I, I want to be some kind of a successful celebrity or musician. You know, because that's I think I think when a lot of people think about success, that's one of the th first things they go to. But that's really not the only definition of success. But that's not the point of this, though. You know, because if you think about it, you you have to imagine that none of those people ever fell into that by accident. Because it's just like working for a promotion in your job. You know, you you they didn't just end up being famous on accident. I'm sure maybe some people did, but. The people that succeeded at that, they worked towards a goal. They, they knew what they were trying to achieve. They wanted to be in this movie. They wanted to do this. They wanted to do that. They wanted to be a rapper. And so they worked towards that stuff. You know, they grinded out selling CDs and, and all types of stuff like that. And I'm just curious, what are you guys what are you guys trying to accomplish? What What's your goal? What is it that, that makes you tick? And I always just, uh, that's another thing that I've always been really interested in is what do other people say when you ask them that question? Do they even know? You know, and I, I heard another thing about how if you ask most people what it is they're trying to get out of life they don't even really know and uh, I just want to know yeah, what, what you guys are trying to accomplish right now in your life do you know do you have a plan do you work towards a goal and if so what is that goal what is it you're trying to get anyway guys it's Red Baron 59 signing off uh, you know hopefully we'll have some more interesting Black Ops 3 news I did hear some things about the MP7 being in the game and a new sniper uh, apparently the PC crackers figured it out. Sub if you've never been here before. Like the video if you like the video. And I'll see you next time.